Well, Simon, it, some specs up in the neutrals, but I, I imagine really tough for you on, on the sideline. Oh, I, don't, I, don't, I want to make sure there's a game that isn't expected up for the, uh, for the neutrals. I want to make sure that we sort of bore, bore people to death at times. If that's, so be it, if that's what we have to do. 2 0 up, we're absolutely cruising. We had a game plan, we sat back and hit them on the counter attack. The shape of the team was, was outstanding. We passed the ball around, we were really patient, we got good goals. And we never looked like we were going to concede. And uh, they're a good team. There's no getting away from the fact that they pass the ball around well. They get plays into little pockets. We've got Mikhail Smith, who's obviously uh, a, a great striker. Um, and we knew that we had to make sure that if we kept it quiet for the first 10, 15 minutes, then we would see the game through. But again, we're shooting ourselves in the foot. It's not like teams are having to open us up with things. I, I keep saying the same thing week in and week out. And, and I, I put a defence out there to, to try and uh, make sure that we don't concede goals. But we've contrasting performances first half and second half. I mean, and it's unbelievable what, it, what that team is putting through, me through, my staff through, and the supporters through at times. But they've certainly got a huge amount of spirit that they got uh, the, the, the way that they came back and got the equaliser the left on again. How do you explain the, the change then from the first to the second half? Well, look, I've got, I've got five centre halves on the books who have all experienced players. They're all sort of capable of playing at this level. They've all played at this level. Um, and for whatever reason, we, each one keeps individually keeps being punished and making mistakes. And it's not um, it's not that they don't know what they're doing. I don't know what it is. It's a mental thing maybe that we don't have that real doggedness as individuals and as a team. But how can you go from the way we were first half to the second half? You've got to give them credit. They've come out. We, if we got to 60, 65 minutes and still two 0 we'd all get no problem because we couldn't see them breaking us down first half. The goal give them the impetus just after half time. We've got to do the ugly things too, and if we want to start keeping clean sheets and winning matches, because we can't keep going through games and having to come back from, from uh, adversity and, and being sort of two 0 up and then three good three goals and, and that sort of scenario. But again, you can't fault the effort that they keep going to the end, and, and we've got a point at a difficult place. But it feels like uh, well, not a satisfying performance and the result in the end. Well, it's something leave from me, even though you had Patrick is nowhere back available. Um, any complaints for the penalty at all? Obviously, it was a key moment. It was a soft one, I suppose. Uh, you, but when you make contact in around the 18 yard box, strikers are going down. If, it, if we'd um, been in their 18 yard box and Ross McCormack or one of my other strikers had gone down, you'd have expected to try and get a penalty. And uh, so be it. That took it away. We are on the back foot. Um, and, and from then on, it was a difficult match for us, but again, we, we stuck at our task of trying to do it. But it's, it's frustrating when you see how, how well we could do first half against some good team, um, and then we sort of um, contrasting performances. What has to change this time to stop this team conceding goals? Is it, is it personnel now? I mean, are you at the end of your, your tether with a few of them? Well, we keep, we keep sort of changing personnel. Like, you, know, you look at the sort of um, the players that we've got within the group, they're all experienced, playing the highest level, got many games under the belts, but. It's, it's, we do work on the training ground, we, 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 we're solid as a team first half, and then it must be just a mental approach that we need to sort of really dig players, uh, keep repeating things and leave, repeat things. But they have to do that as individuals. I don't know, we can set things up on a regular basis, whether we can change it around with any personnel, I don't know. But then the players it's not the player well and then they sort of do the mistakes that they've done but you know they, you know, if you think it's the final life you're not going to get promoted then. of course and, and it's not down to the sort of lack of effort and work that we're doing on the training pitch because you've seen this first half we look so comfortable and it's got to be a mental thing with, with certain individuals we switch off you can't switch off in this game if you the top players are always focused on what they need to do right the way through to the last minute ball goes dead and they come alert again that's when you've got the sense of danger again and we don't we seem to lose concentration um, and that's down to individuals need to do that as you mentioned it, you know, it could have been worse you managed to get a point and, and the character determination we've seen last, last few games all season you know, came to the fore again and Ross McCormack you know, with a couple of vital goals right, I think his first one was top draw the way that he's uh, twisted and turned on the edge of the box and got his shot off was, was fantastic that shows the confidence he's playing with um, we, we look like we're going to score a couple of goals first half then obviously we get we go gung ho. We have to get people uh, balls into the box. Johnny does well and pulls it back to Ross who's right first and right time. So great that we've got a point. A difficult place. You, you sample the atmosphere tonight. That this is this place is a difficult place to come to because they get the, the team playing and where they get behind them and then suddenly um, th there was a belief when they got the goal that they can go and get a result. But credit to the players who kept going.
a weekend on the training pitch to try and iron, iron things out again. A week? I might need a year. Um, Cossing was not It's a long journey back to us tonight. We're back in Monday and we'll keep replicating the things that we've been doing over the last uh, few weeks and months and, and keep drumming into the players what we need to do. But they have to take on board the sort of um, what's what's happening and, and take responsibility themselves. I can't keep going onto that pitch and putting them in positions, telling them to open the body up um, and, and do this, that, and the other because that's that's part of their uh, armory as a defender that needs to be able to do. Thanks, Mr. Cheers, Simon Grayson. Um, I'll just bring.